Welcome everybody to the channel. And today the first lesson that we're going to talk about is London session and how we can use Asia range to find high probability setups. So when you're looking at London session and you're looking at what the Asian range did, it's pretty much going to be one of two types of schematics, which I have the first type of schematic listed here, which is just a simple continuation. And what that means is Asia range is going to build up liquidity but it's already done something to where it doesn't need to be taken out. So in these days, your Asian range is going to be the high or the low of that day, or at least of that London session. And then the second type of schematic that you'll see, and my favorite is the sweep and go, where Asia will build up liquidity, most likely under or above a point of interest, and it will have a brief little false run in the opposite direction, which entices people into believing it will be a continuation and then takes them out very fast. This is a move that it usually happens within a matter of an hour or two. So if I go ahead and I remove these drawings here, we can take a look at the charts and we can see exactly what I mean. So if we were to hop on an EA, we hopped on a daily chart, we can see that this wick right here, this, this little wick right here is an important daily level. And also what's important about this daily level is that if we drop down to let's say a four hour, you can see that this high and this high are relative equal highs, okay? So already we can build a framework and understand that this is probably liquidity because it's relative equal highs and there is that important wick which can be seen as a breaker block in the form of this on a higher time frame. So if we head down to let's say the 15 minute and we identify Asian range and what happened. We had these relative equal highs. Okay, so this is going to come all the way over here, and you can see, you know, building that like it held it again. It stayed below it, built more liquidity. That's three touches of that of that same level of highs, with that POI and Asian range just above it. So you can see exactly what happened here was we started out, we sold early into Asian, enticed a bunch of people, and induced a bunch of people into selling there, thinking that, you know. This is going to be the move. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. And everybody FOMOs in. And then what happens? The sweep above the high taps in and straight down. And then you can see this day. This actually was, <laughs> this was a ping pong. You could have, you could have hit this for a ping pong. But look at the first move during London. We had this high. Everything looks good. It looks bullish. We're going to break through these highs. Look what happened. Sweep and drop. There's money to be made there. And then coincidentally, what happened on the other side, more towards New York time. Sweep and go. Now this is what I mean. This is this is the schematic where of, a, of a continuation. What it this low right here, what did it do? This is a sharp news sweep. I'm sure it swept something over here to the left, lows swept these lows. So this is this has already done everything that needed to be done for the next trading day. It had already taken that liquidity. So when you're looking at something like the Asian low here, which also took the slow out and then had a break of structure higher. So this becomes a strong low. So you don't expect that to get broken. You expect it to hold and there's your trade for the day. This, on the other hand, this didn't take, it took liquidity, but it didn't break anything. So therefore, can't expect this to hold, especially when you look at this strong high right here. It took this, took this lower high out and then created a new low. So on a 15 minute, this is a strong high. What else do we have? Internal liquidity. And then we have all these highs in here and you have Asian range. So look what happens. London opens, 
we get into London a little bit. We have a false run in the opposite direction. Sweep and go. There's your trade. Straight down. Same thing. Look at this day. Trailing down, trailing down, getting some compression. Price is getting tighter. Gives a false run during Asia. Inducement. Sweeps Asia lows. As soon as it sweeps Asia lows, look what happens. 65 pips straight up during London. This is another day where it's a continuation because look what happened. What did Asia do? Asia swept this high. Asia became a strong high because it made a new low. And it took out this low right here. So there's no need for it to sweep Asia. There's no reason for it to go bullish because clearly we're in a bearish market. And Asia took out a high and created a new low. So Asia is a strong high. That's why it continues to sell. And if we keep looking, even this day, where it was the wrong direction. This was still the wrong direction. The direction was to the downside. But there's still, if you time this right with the sweep and you see some bullish pressure and you get some confirmation, that's 60 pips. That's plenty to make money. Okay? And, and you're going to miss trades. That's part of the game. You're going to, like, if you see this and you're like, okay, well, you know, I see this as a level I will maybe want to sell from. And you might say, okay, I'm waiting for it to sweep. And you might get some sort of confirmation on a lower time frame, and it just it blows you right out of the water. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's why we have risk management. That's why you predefine the risk that you're going to take before you even take the trade. So in case something like that happens, you know, you don't blow your account. You just, you know, you lose 1%, half a percent, 2%, whatever it is that you risk. And then when you do get a good setup and you make some money, like for example, I mean, these are mostly just continuation days in here. But if you take a look to the left a little bit, I mean, even this tiny little wick right here, if we zoom in, what did that do? It liquidated Asia high ever so slightly. And that's not a great trade because, I mean, if you, if you scroll out, I don't know, but this isn't a market I want to be selling. This is a market I want to be in buys. But even that right there, it just barely wicks the top and then gives you 50 pips straight down. If we keep looking to our left, like, yeah, maybe maybe you lose on that. That's that's just a false, that's a false reading. That's, that's a break above and then it gives you a fake sell and then takes you out and then actually sells. And it takes, <laughs> look what it does. It takes the low of Asia. But this is all the way in New York, so that's that's past your trading. But then we get back into it. What do we do? We have a false run in the opposite direction and a rally. Okay. We have a false run in the opposite direction and then a drop. And this happens over and over again. False run. And this actually happened twice. Look at this. False run. Takes Asia out. Takes these liquidity points out. Rallies. Takes Asia out. Sells. Okay. Look at this. Same thing right here. Asia session. You get the false run as London opens. And then skyrockets. And this stuff continues to happen over and over again. So all that you have to understand when you're trading London, is what did Asia do? Did Asia create a strong high? Or did Asia create a strong low? And if not, then I don't want to be trading the breakout. Asia took out a low here and made a high. So I don't want to be trading the sweep and go to the downside. I want to be looking for buys. Okay, and for example, here, we had no strong high really on Asia. These are relative equal highs. We had the false run in the opposite direction and then the buy up for 50 pips to take out the high because it's a weak high. So if you can determine whether or not Asia is a strong high or a weak high or a strong low or a weak low, then you know what you're looking for. 
you know you're either going to get the false run and then, and then a rally in the opposite direction, or Asia is going to hold as a high or a low for that session. So once you know that and you can pair that with a risk management plan, then you can you can find a lot of success trading London. Because this might not happen every single day, but when it does happen, I mean, that's that's 120 pips in a very short amount of time. That will allow you to make five, six, even more RR. So on these days where price is choppy and it manipulates and liquidates, you might you lose your 1% and you're done for the day. But on these trades like this, where there's a false run, like here where there's a false run, that's double opportunities. These days right here where you get that false run and then rally, those are the days where you're going to make four or five, six times what you're losing, and they happen often. So if you just pair simple strategy and knowledge of the markets with a good, sound risk management plan and you have discipline, there's no reason that you can't make money in the long term in these markets.